Okay, so in this video, we're going to look at an ideal gas equation question, and then we've got a follow-up mole equation question here in 8.3. Now, this was taken from an AQA A-level chemistry pass paper, paper one during 2018 specifically. Um, you can always pause the video, attempt this yourself, see where you go wrong, hopefully get all six juicy marks here. So when 250 milligrams of sodium were added to 500 centimeters cubed of water at 25 degrees Celsius, a gas was produced, all right? Give an equation for the reaction that occurs, so that'll be our first point here. Calculate the volume in centimeters cubed of the gas formed at 101 kilopascal, and then as always, they give us the gas constant, okay? So our first mark here, give an equation for the reaction that occurs. So we've got sodium reacting with water, okay? So a group one metal plus water is always going to give us a hydroxide, plus hydrogen gas, all right? So I'm just gonna write that out. Sodium plus, uh, what was it? <laughs> I've forgotten already. Water gives us sodium hydroxide, our hydroxide plus hydrogen gas. Okay, so all, all I'm going to do is just balance this up. So we've got two hydrogens on this side, we've got three on this side, so I'm just going to chuck a half mole coefficient in front of this hydrogen gas. Alternatively, you can just double everything up, whichever you find easiest. All right, so that's our first mark in the bag, given the equation for the reaction. So next up, we have to calculate our volume. So as always, we're going to be using our ideal gas equation. So you should know that off by heart by now, PV equals NRT. All right, now, very similar to my other ideal gas equation questions, I'm just gonna write down all the variables. So PV, NRT, and we're gonna write what they are and then write them in their appropriate standard units for that ideal, ideal gas equation. So what do we have first is our pressure. So 101 kilopascals, all right? 101 kilopascals. Now, is kilopascals our standard unit? No, okay, it's pascals. So it's gonna be 101,000 pascals. Next up is volume. So that's what we want to know, okay? We don't know what our volume is. Next up is our moles. Do we know what that is? No, but we can calculate it. Um, ideal gas constant, 8.31. Temperature, 25 degrees Celsius. Chuck 273 on there because we want it to be in Kelvin, and that's just going to be 298 Kelvin. All right, now what we can do here is just simply work out the moles of our sodium based on our molar equation n equals m over mr. Okay, because we can work out the mr from the, our periodic table and we know what mass we've got because it's given to us in the question. All right, so that's simply going to be 250. Ah, uh -uh, okay. Before you get carried away, it's not 250, okay? Our standard units that we have to use for this equation, being so because MR is in grams per mole, this has to be in grams, okay? So all I'm going to do is divide it by 1,000. All right, so that's just gonna be 0 0.25. Divided by our MR, and if you just look at the periodic table, or if you remember it, it's just 23. Okay, so if you put that in your calculator, you get 0 0.01087 mole. All right, so now we know what our moles are. Okay, 0 0.01087, okay? But are we concerned with our sodium? Okay, we're not concerned with our sodium, we're concerned with the volume of gas, okay? So what we're going to have to do is, because this is our gas, we're actually gonna have to look at it according to the mole ratio of the equation. Okay, so our molar ratio here is one sodium reacts to produce half a mole of hydrogen gas, okay? Now, and that's just because hydrogen is diatomic. Now, if we'll write this down, so one to 0 0.5 molar ratio. Alternatively, you could put two to one because you want your ratios to be integers ideally, um, but this is still correct. Therefore, the moles of hydrogen equals this number right here divided by two, all right? And all that is is 5.435, times 10 to the minus three mole. All right, so we've got our moles of hydrogen and gas. So I'm gonna rub that out right here and put 5.435 times 10 to the minus three. Okay, now what we can do is simply make volume the subject by rearranging our ideal gas equation, putting in the variables that we've just found, and that will give us our answer, okay? so. PV equals NRT, if we want to make volume the subject, all we have to do is divide both by both sides by P, okay? So that's gonna be V equals NRT over P. Easy as that, guys. 
All right, so let's just bracket this all up, put it in our calculator. So we'd have 5.435 times 10 to the minus three, multiplied by our ideal gas, uh, I keep calling it ideal gas, our gas constant, 8.31, multiplied by our temperature, which is 298, and then all divided by our pressure, which is just 101,000. All right, so you put that in your calculator, and you should get an answer of 1.3. 3326 times 10 to the minus 4. All right. Now, is that our final answer? Okay. What is the standard units of volume in ideal gas? Okay. It's meters cubed. All right. Do we want meters cubed? No, we don't. We want it in centimeters cubed. Okay. So, what we're going to have to do to convert from meters cubed to centimeters cubed, do you remember what we have to do? Is simply times 10 to the 6. Okay, you just have to do, times it by a million. All right, so if we do that, it's going to get, if we times this by a million, it's going to give us an answer of 133.26 centimeters cubed. But ideally, we want to give our answer to the appropriate number of significant figures. Okay, so that's going to be three significant figures. So I'm just going to round this down to 133. Three. Okay, so hopefully you got that answer as well. Swiftly moving on to 8.3 then. Calculate the concentration in moles per decimeter cubed of sodium ions in the solution produced in the reaction. So this is really simple, guys, okay? Now, they've asked us for concentration, and we worked out the moles initially, right here, this, this thing I've scribbled out, 0.01087 mole. That was the moles of sodium, all right? Now, there's gonna be one mole of sodium within this mole of sodium hydroxide. Okay, now what we have to do then is just going to use our other mole equation. So we've used our N equals M over MR, and the other one we have to use is just N equals CV. Okay, but we don't want moles, we want concentration, so we have to rearrange it to make concentration the subject, so it's gonna be C equals N over V. Okay, now hopefully you're all good with rearranging equations, but that's what the answer is. So all you're gonna do is plug our values in then. So it's gonna be our 0 0.01087 divided by our volume, all right? And all the volume is, is just our 500 centimeters cubed because it's the sodium ions in the solution. So that's gonna be divided by 500. Now, we're not gonna convert it to meters cubed this time, okay? Because we're not dealing with an ideal gas equation anymore. We are dealing, we are dealing with a uh, mole equation. So we have to convert it into decimeters cubed because our concentration is in moles per decimeters cubed. So I'm just gonna times 10 by the, to the minus three, which is exactly the same as dividing by a thousand. Okay, so if you put that in your calculator, you should get an answer of 0.02172 to three significant figures. And that's our easy one marker right there. Okay then, so what I'm gonna do next is just take a look at our mark scheme and our examiner's report for this question. Okay, so, I'm not gonna to go too deep into the mark scheme because it's simply just laid out pretty much what I did there in the question. Um, hopefully that's self-explanatory, you can check it out yourselves. Um, but what I'm concerned with is the examiner's report, okay? So let's read through this. So question 8.2 then. Unfortunately, the equation was often seen with sodium oxide as the product rather than sodium hydroxide. Okay, so I'll make a note of that and I'll come back to it. In this calculation, many students did not use the two to one ratio from the equation, leading to an answer of 267. However, this part of the question also discriminated well, with over 25% of students gaining full marks, so that's really good. Most students scored some marks and less than 3% scored zero. So just take a note of, when we're reacting a group on metal with water, we always produce a hydroxide and a hydrogen gas, okay? So just try and remember that caveat there. Next up, what did they say? The two to one ratio, okay? So it's really, really important that when we when we look at the moles which are reacting, we do them in the according ratios, okay? So if you've written out an equation here and you worked out the moles of one thing, which in this case was our sodium because that was the variables given, we have to go back then and look at the molar ratios based on the coefficients and then times or divide the moles as needed, all right? So I put a one to 0.5, Exactly the same thing as a two to one, okay? Don't let that confuse you. Normally they just like to see integers, but it's both correct. They won't give you a mark for this, they'll give you a mark for this, all right? 
or ultimately they'll give you marks for this. <laughs> so uh, what have we got here? So less than 3% scored zero. So that's good. Only 3% of people out there scored zero. Um, what's next then? So 8.3, just under half of the students gave a correct answer. The commonest error, commonest, is that a word? Commonest error was to multiply the amount in moles by volume rather than dividing. So the most common mistake then, moles equals CV. All right, just tr do your best to remember this equation along with the moles equals M over MR equation. Now, when rearranging this, I guess maybe people's rearranging abilities just aren't that great. Um, but if you do struggle with that, use the equation triangle, okay? Um, N equals CV. Use the equation triangle if you really struggle, convert it around, just practice, okay? These sort of calculation questions, just like maths, just requires tons of practice, honestly, guys. So hopefully you got these answers. If you didn't, make a note of which you got wrong, come back to it, try again later before your exams, and see how you do. Subscribe for future chemistry content. Best of luck, guys, in your exams. Peace.